Okay, we're here with Tom Lackey, and he's going to show us how to make turbo yeast. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some expelled yeast. This is yeast that we've already used to make a sugar mash for the purposes of making alcohol, fuel alcohol. Okay. So this is a batch that has already been expelled. And what I have is primarily dead yeast at the bottom of the bucket. So what I'm going to do, yeah, but there is some live yeast that's still uh, involved here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a little bit of water to the yeast. And not much, just a couple of cups of water. Okay. Now this is going to start activating the yeast, the expelled yeast. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a bit of sugar to the yeast so that uh, the yeast starts eating the sugar. And when it eats the sugar, it produces more yeast. If I were to encapsulate it and put a uh, vapor lock on it, it would make alcohol. It would eat the sugar, expel carbon dioxide, and turn the sugar into alcohol. But right now, the only thing we're doing is propagating the yeast. So we've added the water. Now I'm just going to grab a little bit of sugar. Now that I have, this is, is that good to go? Yep. Okay. What I have here, this is regular store-bought sugar. Okay. Uh, the least expensive that I can find, because obviously we're trying to make alcohol and yeast at the moment. Okay. So this doesn't need much, probably about half a cup. Okay. That's all the sugar that I'm going to need to produce the yeast. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to shake the bucket up. There, now the sugar is expended within the water and the yeast. It's Right now, the yeast is being activated and it will be eating that sugar and making more yeast. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a funnel in an empty jar, take our inactive yeast, Pour it in here. Now it will start becoming active. Uh, now I cover this purposely with a netting because it really attracts bugs, gnats. And it's the carbon dioxide that, and the, uh, the alcohol itself. There's still some alcohol that's in here. And it just really attracts bugs. Okay, so how long will it take for that to turn into our turbo yeast? Uh, that should take about a week. One week. Yeah, now I, during the week I may add a little sugar and uh, add a little water to it. As you can see, the volume is up here. Okay. Okay, we started off with the volume here. As the yeast thickens, I'll add more sugar and more water. And then I'll come to this point where I have my turbo yeast. Okay. 